So my name is Jakub Scholz and uh, I work for Red Hat and really what I work on most of the time is the CNCF project called Streamzy, which is all about running Apache Kafka on uh, Kubernetes. And that's what I will, of course, use during this talk today as well. Uh, I hope all of you know and heard about Apache Kafka. What I think is quite important to understand is that it's more than just a messaging broker. It's an event streaming platform and it's great ecosystem of different uh, components and tools. Some of them are part of the Apache Kafka project itself, but others are third party components and integrations and connectors and so on, which all plug nicely with Kafka and all can be used uh, together. So overall Kafka can quite easily handle three different areas when it comes to working with data. It can do the basic messaging job uh, of delivering the messages, but it can also store the messages, including storing them as a, as a long-term uh, storage, uh, especially if you use the patterns such as uh, event sourcing and so on, you know that you can store there the events for years if you want. But it can also handle integration. So it has this, uh, this component called Kafka Connect API, which really focuses on integration with other systems, on uh, importing messages from other systems uh, into Kafka or uh, exporting them from Kafka into some other systems. And it has also its uh, own stream processing library, which is called Kafka Streams API. And you can do stream processing there including stateful operations, joins, and so on. So it's really quite a uh, quite powerful library. Uh, and what we will use these things for in, uh, in my talk today is uh, we will use the Kafka Connect part uh, together with uh, connectors from uh, another Apache project, Apache Camel, which is quite well known as well and provides hundreds of different integrations. And one way you can use Apache Camel is also as a connectors inside Kafka Connect. So we will use this connector to connect to the Twitter APIs and uh, do some searches on the Twitter search for some tweets. And when we find the tweets matching our criteria, we will take this, uh, this tweet and pass it as a message to our Kafka broker. And from there, we will pick it up with our stream processing application, which will read the tweets and do some sentiment analysis on them using the deep Java learning library. So basically applying machine learning to decide what the sentiment of the message is. And when the sentiment is, uh, is positive or, or negative, uh, then it will basically identify these messages and it will automatically retweet them by sending them back to the Kafka broker, where again, the Kafka Connect will pick it up and export it back to the Twitter APIs, and you will be able to see them as, uh, as tweets. And uh, of course, because uh, we are on data on Kubernetes day, then uh, all of this will be running on top of, uh, on top of Kubernetes, uh, and uh, it will use the Streamzy operators. Uh, so let's have a look at how it works and how we can make it uh, make it running. Uh, if you want to take part in this demo, you can just tweet something and use this hashtag BYOSMA, as in build your own social media analytics. And if you use this hashtag, the, the sentiment analysis application should automatically pick it up and analyze it. And uh, yeah, you might see your tweets uh, in this demo. So let's first switch to the, to the command line and uh, check uh, what we have running already. And uh, as you can see, I already deployed everything to save the time on uh, downloading the container images and starting things. But I have the Kafka cluster running here. I have the, the Zookeeper cluster running here. Here I have my uh, Kafka Connect server as well. And here is the the sentiment analysis application, which will be analyzing the, the tweets. And uh, the important part here is the, is the Streamsy operator, which uh, if you follow 
how the operators are working and the operator patterns, then that's what's really running and uh, managing all of these components. And to plug into the previous talk, you can, of course, install it using the, the OLM and the operator hub.io uh, as well. Now, uh, just to briefly introduce how the operator is working, you basically create uh, custom resources like these, like here, kind Kafka, where you specify the whole Kafka resource, including the, the resources, Java configuration, listener security. As you can see, it's just a small deployment running on my home cluster here. I can also configure authorization, authentication, uh, storage, uh, observability uh, in form of tracing or Prometheus metrics. And when you deploy it, then the operator takes care of the rest. And because basically everything I'm showing here is done in a declarative way and can be done using things such as, uh, such as GitOps, uh, you can also do exactly the same for the Kafka Connect. And because the Kafka Connect uh, connects to the Kafka Broker as, a, as an external application, I first have to create this, uh, this Kafka user, which it can use to authenticate, and uh, I can specify the authorization rules. And then uh, I can specify the Kafka Connect deployment itself, where I uh, uh, specify which connector plugins should be, should be loaded into my Connect deployment. Remember the ecosystem thing, I'm downloading third party plugins and the operator will automatically put together a new container image for me with these plugins and automatically deploy it. And then uh, uh, I can deploy the actual connectors as well. So I create a topic which is called uh, Twitter inbox. And then I create this Kafka connector, which uh, will use the credentials to connect to the Twitter API and then it will search on Twitter for the, for the hashtag, which I mentioned. And whenever a message with this hashtag is published, it will automatically load this from the Twitter API and send it as a message uh, into, the, into the Kafka broker. And I have similar connector for the outgoing messages as well. So to retweet the, the messages which, uh, which it finds. And the last piece I need to build my own uh, Social media analytics here is the sentiment analysis, where again, I create a Kafka user and then it's just a regular deployment. One thing which makes the Kafka Streams API a bit special is that it's not some complicated framework with some workers and some servers, but it's really just a Java library which you can include in your, uh, in your, uh, in your application. So in my case, I'm using the Quarkus framework, but you can use it with Spring, with plain Java and so on, and you just build it and deploy it. And now when it's running, you can get back to your, uh, to your browser. And this is my, uh, my Twitter account or one of my Twitter accounts. And I can tweet something and try to tweet something nice. Data on Kubernetes, they, Started well. The schedule is full of amazing talks. Hopefully, that's positive enough to catch up with the sentiment analysis. Now I have to add the tech, build your own social media analytics, and I can now tweet it. And now this Jakubo bot account, that's the account of my bot, which I'm using to. Uh, uh, to retweet the things and if i press refresh here uh, you cannot see uh, all of the you cannot see my tweet yet but you can see all kind of other tweets uh, ricard i hope i pronounce it properly tweeted here about it and it was uh, identified as negative oh that's not nice it looks like the machine learning library could use some more training because i don't see anything negative on that but you can see how it's uh, how it's retweeting these uh, these tweets and uh, when it catches up with uh, so this one was positive great uh, so you can see how it's uh, catching up with the different uh, tweets and uh, how it's doing the social media analytics now uh, 
there was not that much time to go in detail through the Java application, doing the analysis and uh, through all the YAML files and so on, but you can find all of them in uh, this, uh, this first link, which takes you to the GitHub repository with all the, all the sources. And uh, if you want, you can even try to do this uh, yourself uh, at home. Uh, thanks for watching.